Coming to you live from Studio 6 in Seattle. Keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side. With leading edge topics, along with special co-hosts to navigate technology in a segmented, stylized radio program. The information that's going to make you go, mmm. Now sit back, raise a glass, and welcome to Tech Time Radio with your host, Nathan Moore. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. What's happening? The show that makes you go, mm. how you doing, Mike? I'm doing all right. You're you doing all right? I'm yeah. D- I'm doing all right, too. I'm I don't know what we're doing today. Oh, you don't know what you're doing today? Yeah, no. I sent you all the show notes. There was only uh, 79 pages, this one. Yeah, I, I forgot it. You forgot it? <laughs> Great. All right. Well, I, I know that you did read about it since we did the little pre-elevator talk, so I think we should be okay. Hopefully. Th- this is our show for November 14th through the 20th. This is our episode 22. We're getting up there. I don't. I, I may stop saying what episodes they are. Yeah, I don't think you week. need to say that anymore. I don't know. It was just the goal to make sure we Let's made it to Let's go to 10. 25, and then we could just stop. Just get rid of it? I think that's yeah. a good idea. We go 25, and that's it. All right. Well, I'm Nathan Mum. Welcome to our live show. We are live streaming the show from Saturdays, 4 to 5 p.m. on YouTube and Facebook. In our Facebook feed, which is just Facebook forward slash techtimeradio.com, is monitoring questions. And if you have a question about technology... And you type it in there, we will look to see if we can answer that during a segment. So we're serious ex- questions only? or uh, <laughs> Serious questions only, yeah. Don't ask me about anything other than technology related. Your comb I over? Do. Not my comb over, no. I, I got my hair cut. I know, I know. that. I, I now have the old man haircut, so it's all shaved and, and, and we're no, ready no, no. to go. Nothing to worry about. My hairspray bottle, I, I'm going to have to donate it to somebody else now. Okay. All right. Good for you. So, so if you're not listening to us on Saturday from 4 to 5 p.m., then you are listening to a podcast or a replay of our show. So make sure you visit techtimeradio.com to keep up with all the latest information. Our show is a weekly show, an hour-long technology show, and we welcome you to pull up a seat, learn about current technology in a simple format that gives you information without having to geek out. The show is for everyone, and we provide you with the top tech news of the week, along with segments that bring different perspectives and engagements and highlighted guest interviews. Mm -hmm. Today on our main segment, we're going to be covering what is 5G. So have you heard uh, have you heard of 5G? I, I hear it's going to teleport your brains out of your skull, or s- they're like aliens or something. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of stuff going on about 5G. So we're gonna. So I we're see gonna, people with their signs in their yard that's like stop 5G before we you know die before we die. Well, so we're going to talk about actually understanding the basic of what 5G is. There's a lot of misconceptions, mm-hmm. a lot of crazy ideas that are out there, and so we're going to talk about probably. Uh, just the basic high-level aspects of it, and we're going to talk about some difference between the carriers. So if you're looking to get your new iPhone or your new Samsung phone for the holiday and it's 5G enabled, which carrier do you want to use? We're going to talk about that. But then um, before we get going, we want everybody to go to techtimeradio.com and sign up on our fan list because we're going to be giving away one of those Pulse devices, the EKG machines, the, pulse. the portable device. Have you gotten yours? Have you wore yours yet and tried yours out? No. You haven't? I, I have. I have. You got to try it out by next week. That's your goal. All right. Okay? I'll, I'll try it out. Try it by next week. And so we're giving one of these for $299. Be a perfect gift to give away for your Christmas holiday special one. So make sure you go and sign up online to get that taken care I, of. I don't have a heart, so I don't. You don't have a heart. So it's just not going to ever <laughs> pump at all. It's going to be like flat lines. Yeah, it's just going to be a flat. <laughs> for the whole thing. <laughs> That's right. All right. It's okay. part of the 5G network. <laughs> well, we we have a part of our loaded questions. Oh. As we know, so we, we got okay. these. These are our loaded questions. And we randomly pick a question for you. So uh, we're going to start with our loaded question number one. If people could vote for any television character to be president, who would win? <laughs> uh, that, could, that could go both ways. Well, okay. So they can uh, vote for anybody. I, you know, Ren and Stimpy. Okay. Or Cersei Lannister. <laughs> you're gonna go. You're gonna go with the that, Game of Thrones. That, yeah, <laughs> I mean that's that's <laughs> the perfect person for uh, to have. It. So if they just yeah, don't, got, yeah, you don't either. like anything, they just cut the person right off. And it's yeah, it's, I, it's. I don't know. It just seems. It just seems like that would be a perfect way to go with all the stuff going on this year. Really, it would be the tw- the perfect 2020 ending. That would, would be. It? You know, I think mine. I, I I'm thinking about it. I I want it to be uh, Hannibal Smith from the A Team. 
Yeah, I love it when a plan really? comes together. Yeah, you just be smoking a cigar <laughs> on the sidelines and let everybody else. You ever watch the A Team shows, right? I I remember. Okay, Hannibal. so what did Hannibal Smith really do? Watch he just it. smoked cigars all the time and they just sit back and let everybody and else just, do the work. Yeah, and they just shot shot tons and tons of bullets and never, <laughs> never hit, hit anybody. Anything. Kind of like stormtroopers shooting yeah. in the new <laughs> Mandalorian episodes. That's right. <laughs> all right, we'll have to talk about the Mandalorian. Are you, are you up to date uh, on that? Oh yeah. That's oh yeah. Awesome. What's with the stormtroopers not being able to hit anything? That's just a that's the running joke. Star Wars trope. That's a yeah. That's the running joke. All right. Well, now that we've gotten through our most important aspects, let's actually move to some technology. Oh no! You want to do that? So we're going to start out with our top stories in the first five minutes. What's happening in technology? Nathan's top stories in the first five minutes. Welcome to the top stories in five minutes. Let's start the timer, David, to get us going as we are on story number one. Amazon faces lawsuits. Amazon. Alleged failure to provide PPE to workers during the pandemic. That's not a surprise. All right. So Christian Smalls, a former Amazon warehouse employee, filed a lawsuit against the company today. Right. Alleging Amazon filed, oh, not actually today, it was yesterday, so Friday. Uh, alleging Amazon failed to provide personal protective equipment to mm-hmm. black and Latino workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. The class action suit alleges Amazon failed to properly protect its warehouse workers and violated elements of the New York's human rights law, as well as federal and state laws. I was a loyal worker and gave my all to Amazon until I was uncircum uh, uncircumstantially terminated and tossed aside <laughs> like yesterday's trash because I insisted that Amazon protect its dedicated workers from COVID-19. Small said in a statement, I just wanted Amazon to provide basic protection gear to the workers and sanitize the workplace. Mm-hmm. Amazon did not specifically comment on the lawsuit, uh, of but said that it stands in solidarity with black employees, customers, and its partners. That's the same thing they were saying back when all this was going on. Was that May? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same press lady. I'm sure she hasn't changed her story on anything. That they she they all. It's like an associated press thing. Is it? Yeah. yeah <laughs> they all. They all go to the same place to get their excuses for why they're why they're getting data breached. And so Smalls was fired from Amazon in March after organizing a walkout. So tell me about this. He organized a walkout at one of the company's fulfillment centers mm-hmm. in Staten Island. Mm-hmm. As a result, New York's attorney general is investigating if Amazon violated federal workers' safety laws and New York state whistleblower protection laws by firing smalls. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about organizing a protest to walk out? I, I don't think you should be surprised if you got fired. Okay. I so, know, you know, if you're not going through proper channels, and, and I get it, you know, I... I've had this happen in my life. Okay. Where things are things are from the corporate structure is not very fair and you want fairness for the people that are working for you and So an Amazon spokesman said the company did not fire Smalls for organizing a protest. Instead Amazon said it fired him for putting his health and safety as others at risk and violating his terms of employment. Yeah, spin doctoring. How about that? Yeah, well, that's uh, that's what happens. So that's the PPE loan. We'll see if that gets taken care of or if they have a lawsuit, and we'll see how Smalls ends up going in New York. Story number two. Story number two. Oh, you're going to love this. This is your favorite company. This is my favorite company. What, is this what, Facebook? This is Facebook. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Facebook Messenger and Instagram will let you send messages that disappear Calling the new feature the new vanish mode. Hey, all right. So there's, Facebook there's and Instagram, added Snapchat too. That's, that's right. That's messenger right. Messenger service. So Facebook and Instagram platforms are taking another tip from Snapchat. On Thursday, Facebook said it's rolling out a new way to send messages in both apps that automatically disappear once a chat session is closed. Called vanish mode. The feature will be available for some users in Facebook messaging service, specifically on the mobile devices, is mm-hmm. where they're rolling out first. Uh, Facebook in September introduced a new ways for users to chat with their Instagram friends and vice versa without having to switch the app. Facebook Messenger allows a way for users to set their message to disappear in a certain amount of time in vanish mode. Though none of this, it will make the message completely disappear and Facebook still retains that information on the back end. Uh Uh-huh. So So they can sell it on the dark web? (laughs) So they have the information. Specifically because of online harassment and bullying still being a big problem on social networking, the idea that the information will still be there so Facebook can take a look at it and uh, process items that need to be taken care of, including screenshots of the message 
in a block report for the conversation. Yeah, who's going to be using the vanishing feature? So I, I so I, I don't would, get this. Why would you send something if you have to have that picture vanish? Exactly. Who's going to who who needs to use that? Those are those are going to be the ones that want to hide what they're doing. Correct. You know, so I, the psychology I, of doing this then why why would Facebook even enable that feature? Hmm, that's a good question. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's my prob- question to you. Yeah, probably probably for that that privacy they have this big thing about privacy, so they're they're leaning in on that privacy issue. Although we all know that nothing is private, and they say they're going to keep it. Yeah. So so they vanish mode everything. is going to be available in the U.S. throughout the next couple of months. Facebook doesn't specifically know when this feature will be available in the European Union. Vanish Mode on Instagram is launching in a handful of countries on Thursday and will be available in the U.S. and more countries in the coming weeks. Yeah, I imagine there's a legal aspect to that, too. Uh, there's a legal aspect. So they're, we, they're just protecting their butts. So we did not get story number three. Story number three, again, was some people have antibodies that are recognized for COVID-19. Yeah, this 19. is the same story the same one from last, last week, week. That, you'd get to get <laughs> that I was going to get to this week. But you know what? Maybe next week we'll have a special guest on and talk about some of this new COVID Let, yeah, stuff let's, that's going let's, on. Let's call in. Call in my, my buddy, buddy and James. Eric. Is James? James in Arizona. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him a call and see if he can join the hey, show that's and great. give us an update. Good name, good state. James in Arizona? Well, yeah. I mean, that's where I'm from, is Arizona. Okay, uh, let's let's not make this political. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, so, where are you going with that? All right. Well, that takes us through our- I just like the desert, man. You just, I just like, like the, the desert? desert? Okay, that takes us through our top five stories in the first five minutes. Now, before we go, I want to give you the lead-in for our next uh, deal, because that is going to be the greatest. We have our segment coming up called Protect Yourself Today. That's your favorite yeah, segment, right? Yourself Silly Today. So we're going to be talking about um, some interesting areas where in Protect Yourself Today we have some ransomware payouts where you can actually uh, be a part of a- Yeah, an affiliate re- program. Affiliate program. You, you so, can, <laughs> so you can affiliate uh, I can sign hackers. up to be a hacker Correct. for somebody. <laughs> and pay somebody else to do that. So we're going to take a commercial <laughs> break right now. And when we get on back, we got Protect Yourself Today and I a need lot a of other stories. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you after the break. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data right at your fingertips and with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. The new Pulse device from Vivomi continuously tracks your EKG and displays this data on your mobile phone. Have you ever wondered how your EKG and heart rate behaves when you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday? or just getting the kids ready for school or relaxing at home? Now it is easy to check by simply opening the Pulse app. The Pulse device is sleek and low profile and designed to be worn without any straps or wires, and is also waterproof, so you can use it in the shower or take it swimming. For those serious athletes out there, the Pulse device also plays nicely with existing exercise tracking apps and is Bluetooth enabled for easy pairing. You can free yourself from those outdated strap-based heart rate monitors. The Pulse is a different kind of wearable, and you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Hi, this is Lisa Downs, host of Reigniting You, the show that takes a positive, forward-looking approach to mid-to-late career transitions for Gen Xers and Boomers every Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock Pacific. Whether you're looking to stay in the traditional workforce, do your own thing, or to retire or semi-retire, Reigniting You is your source for career transition advice, inspiration, and insight for what's next in your career and life. Join me Wednesdays at 3 o'clock to get re-energized, recharged, and reignited. New Advil Dual Action with Acetaminophen fights pain in two ways. Advil targets pain at the source, while Acetaminophen blocks pain signals. The future of pain relief is here. New Advil Dual Action. Welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. And during our break, we got to have our first (laughs) tasting of our Crown Royal Northern Harvest Rye, 90%. It's a fine blend of Canadian whiskey. Now, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Canadian whiskey, um, but what did what, what, you think of your first taste of that, Mike? Um, well, it's, it's not last week's whiskey. Last week's whiskey was a, a unique whiskey, right? Yep. So it, that was a very high standard for the price point. This is the same price point, $25. For that 90 proof, it does come with a nice little uh, 
uh, a green uh, silk uh, little a, cover a, a for little it. Crown Royal bag. Yeah, a little Crown Royal bag when you get it. But what, what do you think of this? Mm. Um, it's so far. I mean, I can taste a little citrus in it. Uh, this, the aroma is very thin. Doesn't have a very strong aroma. It's got it's got kind of a a bite. That I got a little licorice taste too. On that, did I don't you? know if you yeah, yeah if you did. Well, we're gonna see at the end of the show. It'll either be a thumbs up or a thumbs down based upon what we do. So the first taste, clearly after coming off a winner of, of last week, it's a, it's always tough to it's a tough it's, a, it's tough a tough to be after that winner. You <laughs> never want to replace the person that is like the superstar of any business, right? You want to replace the person that replaced that person, and and we'll see how our whiskey does. So hopefully we'll have a a better we'll, palate we'll, as we go through we'll the see show. What it, yeah, we'll see what it tastes like. All right. Well, Mike, this is your favorite area that we're going to get into. We're going to be talking about uh, cybersecurity breaches, identity theft across the globe. This is the uplifting and inspiring part that yes. we like to call Protect Yourself Today. Protect Yourself Today. Protect Yourself Today is a five-minute rundown of the weekly technology breaches or business compromises across the globe. Let's start with story number one. All right. How a game developer leaked 46 million accounts. Oh, yes. Uh, application called Animal Jam. Have you ever heard of Animal Jam? You know, I recognize that, but I don't know a whole lot about it. So I don't either, but I, I guess it's a, a very, very popular program for younger children. Isn't it like a virtual zoo or something it, it like that? It kind of is, and they have a little chat feature. So let's talk about it. WildWorks Data Breaches shows the danger of sharing sensitive keys over chat chat and calibration tools such as Slack are critical for software development teams, but a data breach experienced by Utah-based software developer WildWorks illustrates why developers should think twice before sharing sensitive databases and keys over chat messages. WildWorks is notifying millions of parents of a data breach that compromised 46 million accounts for a desktop and mobile game called Animal Jam. Notifications are also being sent to the website Have I Been Pawned, the data breach notification service in Australia. Uh, with expert Troy Hunt that runs that. A database containing the data was advertised Tuesday on a well-known hacker forum for the buying and sharing of data. The record spans from Animal Jam was created around 2010 until present. The 46 million exposed records include usernames, password, full birth of the children for 5.7 million accounts, and the birth years of $14.8 million account with the children. The gender of children was also indicated for 24 million accounts. 7 million of these accounts contained email addresses for accounts linked to Animal Jam and Animal Jam Classic. So other accounts that you'd have open that would link to this uh, deal would also be taken care of. Animal Jam is a role-playing game by WildWorks Studios launched in 2010 with a partnership with National Geographic Kids. Oh, uh, that's what it was. Designed as a game to learn about wildlife, users furnish a den by collecting and buying special items that the game allows users to interact with in players' chat. So let's talk about how they actually got the information to be there. So snatching the keys. WildWorks detected a breach that occurred on October 10th and 12th. So we're now talking about this in November 14th, mm -hmm. right? It was an announced this week. So we're talking about it this week, uh, a breach that happened on October 10th and 12th. But initially, no data from the Animal Jam's SQL database it had been taken out. Viewing the breach as a low risk, the company opted not to notify its users. Really? Around <laughs> the same time, the WildWorks CTO... <laughs> Val Breyer says that he was notified by Slack, which is an internal chat program that mm -hmm. allows you to communicate back and forth, that someone had gained access to his account. Slack had detected oddities, including the account was used to post animal music videos on numerous channels, and he said that he immediately forced a reset of all of his Slack sessions and his password. But I bet it was too late. We deactivated the keys in AWS, but apparently it wasn't before they were able to spin up another client on an EC2 cloud and gain access to their database. During its investigation, WildWorks was found that the server attacker had launched and used a curl command to reach the Animal Jam database, but didn't do anything about it and let it set dormant. So instead of immediately acting, they had the, this is what hackers do really smart, they infiltrate. And mm -hmm. then they wait. That's yeah. the big thing. Infiltrate and then wait so that you don't then cause any alarms with information and people forget about it. And you can only have to wait like two days. That's like the, the going 
48 hours, and then boom. That's a long time in internet land. It is. So Animal Jam user database was advertised again on a dark web forum for selling and sharing the data leaks. You're able to purchase 10,000, or sorry, not 10,000, 1,000 accounts for just $10. Really? Yes. So you can go in and get usernames of the accounts, parents' names, because the parents have to sign them up, parents' email addresses, the kids' uh, birth dates and information, because on their birth date, I guess they get a special little gift that, that the automated tool sends out to everybody. So everybody put that in yeah, there and had the information. Not real. That's not real awesome. The 7 million email accounts belonging to parents whom Animal Jam requested registered that they could provide consent for their children to access the account. These parents also have access to control the monitoring of their child's account. So child, that's a very simple way that they do with kids. Your kid's too young to sign up for this, so the parent has to sign up and Mm -hmm. then gives the kids. At least 32 million players' usernames were also compromised, but the wild system prevents child from using their real name and has a surname. Yeah. So they're saying that they're very excited that they didn't have the, the child's real name on there. It's a surname. But yeah. you get the how, parent's how, real name. How important is that? I don't know. You get the because parent's real name and address. you get the parent's address. name and address so, and the birth date. And the birth date. It's See? easy to find out what the kid's it's name is. Pretty. It's pretty easy. Oh, there it is. There's our, there's our, that's all right. So the dark side rants, we didn't get to story number two. Story number two was about dark side that was ransomware the, gang that launches. Was the, that was the affiliate program yes. for hackers. Dang yes. it. Why don't you, you, you know what, if we have to that one. If we have time at the end of the show, we're going to go back to that, and we're going to cover that, okay? so Because that is a very I, interesting deal. But our time is up, and so we have to go by what the clock says. <laughs> uh, we were having too much fun talking about it, the child uh, uh, yeah, game that had all the Yeah, that's really hacks. alarming, actually, that, that, that piece. What's that? The affiliate program? No, or no, the, the the breach, the data breach for for a kids game. That's, so they could have easily notified the parents on that October time frame instead of saying we don't think it's serious and just ask them to do a forced reset of the passwords. Sorry, but they should they should know they should have notified that because that's that can be more serious than than anything than else. Anything yeah, else. Kid, kids' information. Mm-hmm. So that is our time, and now we are going to need to get ready for our next segment that we have coming on back here. Which is going to be exciting because we're going to be talking about 5G. Are you excited about 5G? Do you know what 5G does? Um, it makes your dog. No, it dance does. The hula it, no, in it your doesn't. Living room. No, we got 5G that we're going to be talking about, and then we also have a cool story on what I found on the web coming on up after that. So, everybody, stay tuned. After these commercial breaks, we are going to get into 5G and what 5G is all about. What it's all about. Hello, Seattle. How would you like to have immediate and easy access to your live EKG and heart rate data? Your data, right at your fingertips, brought to you by Vivomi's new Pulse Wearable. And with no need to hook up wires and leads or be strapped to a machine at the doctor's office. Whether you're exercising at the gym, navigating the stressful demands of the workday, or relaxing at home, check your EKG as simply as opening an app. The Pulse, a different kind of wearable. And you can experience this difference by going to www.vivomi.com and ordering your device today. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service and the brand names you know and trust, such as Steel, Scott's, Miracle Grow, Toro, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Yeti, Traeger, Weber, Big Green Egg, Clark and Kensington Paint, Magnolia Paint by Joanna Gaines, Benjamin Moore Paint, Duracell Automotive Keys, and many, many more. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Lake Stevens, Evergreen Way in Everett, and now Stanwood. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. I feel like we're forgetting something. Let me check. Xfinity Home gives you peace of mind from anywhere with professionally monitored home security built around you. No, I think we're good. Good. So when you're away, you don't have to worry. The tent. We forgot the tent. Except about that. Xfinity Home. Simple, easy, awesome. (sighs) Hey, look, I found the tent. Get Xfinity Home with no term contract required. Call or click today. Get your sip. I did. Did you get your little sip of whiskey? I did. Wow, that's got a bite though, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not not real fond of this. You're not really fond of it. No, no, no. no don't say it. Thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> uh, it, 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 we don't want to give it away. Shh. Okay. Shh. So we'll see what's yeah. going to happen on this. <laughs> All right, just on the live stream, you just saw a, a couple uh, um, um, hand gestures in, in the nicest of ways, though. Yeah, whatever. All right, so let's talk about five G. 
Let's uh, talk about 5G. So, so we're going to go through and talk about 5G at kind of a high level. Tell us about 5G. And then you will get to Able on Wednesday to listen to a good 20-minute segment of all the 5G technical nerd stuff on our Tech Time Radio Unplugged episodes. So if you want to hear me talk about tons of 5G stuff and go into like massive details. Let, let me get my 4G out and let me put it in my calendar. You put it in your calendar? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's. So the first thing to talk about is five G is is um, it is being rolled out and it's a cellular process of transferring data. Mm-hmm. And so as you see all the commercials coming out, T Mobile has a commercial um, and they do some sponsorship with us. The first thing to understand is five G is not a technical term in itself. Okay, so 5G is not a standard where if you say like PCI or any of these hardware components, CPU, there is no standard for 5G. Essentially, 5G is the replacement of 4G, which is just saying that that is the new revelation and evolution of technology. Mm -hmm. So there is no special 5G version that's available for you. So if 5G version from T-Mobile could be completely different than 5G version from Verizon and 5G version from AT&T. It is just essentially a name place that says it's the fifth generation. It's the Viagra of of, of, (laughs) Of air systems. Uh, So, yes, it's a a brand new system that will be coming on out. So, again, the term is the telecommunication industry has developed different processes, and this is their fifth generation process. Right. At 4G speeds, you are able to transfer data at about one gigabit per second. And with 5G wireless, you're going to be able to do 10 gigabits per second. So it's 10x the current 4G allocation that's available there is what the standard advertising process is. Now, because it's not a technology platform, uh, one company could decide to only do like 8x speed and one could do 15x speed. And so that that's something that each of the yeah, individuals will that's, be. That's why I have problems with our Internet service, too. <laughs> so the, the nice thing about 5G, though, is that <clears throat> it will be available to help with remote online surgeries, embrace machine learning, artificial intelligence. And it, it enables to communicate with what they call edge computing, which means you can transfer the information as quick as possible On the edge, and I'm not trying to go nerdy on here, but here's what edge means. If you watch like a a Netflix movie, Mm -hmm. essentially for Netflix, they put it all the way out at the very edge of the network, which means it's at the very end of their security stream, Mm -hmm. because they really don't care as long as you have a username and account, you can stream that as quick as possible. Instead of having it through layers and layers and layers within a system, it's right out there available for people to get and stream immediately quick. And 5G enables the edge area of data to be able to be transferred at that high speed rates. Okay. Now I'm not going too nerdy. Am I? You are. Oh no, I'm you trying are, to stay. You're, you're going way too nerdy. I'm trying to stay not nerdy. I'm you trying to, to stay. Tell, you need to tell us how I can fry an egg on the top of my car <laughs> by using a 5G so, network. So there's nothing to do. So all the 5G conspiracy <laughs> people are the same people that think that this is the this same, vaccinations yeah. that will come on out with COVID are going to have like bugs inside of it. That, remember when the 4G network was coming out and everybody was freaking yes. out uh, about everybody. And the cell phones, the cell phones first came out. I had a, I, had, I worked at Microsoft, and so mm-hmm. we were early developers of cell phones when they had it. I remember and that. I was going to die of cancer because it was there I on know. my hip, and I had a little hip deal to, to plug it in, and it was sending radio waves, and I was going to die within five years of using that, even though the industry said it was safe. I, everybody out there said I was going to oh, die in five it, years. The same thing with the smartphones. Yes. This There's is a big cancer scare. They're, they're going to have the radiation come out of your ear, and then your ear is going to look like a cauliflower. Didn't. Yeah, and I'm not sure where the aliens come in, but oh, that's, oh. that's always been there. Okay, so the 5G, there's two different areas of 5G. So there's, and what it's called is an evolved packet. So there's mobile services in 5G. So hang on here. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it, again, I'm trying to keep it high level. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's- Let's evolve it. Okay, so <laughs> there's an evolved packet, which essentially what that does is it it decides to, um, what do you want to say, compact the data of having the header, I'm trying to say, so when you send out something on the internet, you go and browse something, mm-hmm. you have a packet that essentially goes out to, to an information and grabs information and comes on back to you to report. So it's a send and receive method. Mm-hmm. Each time you send out information, there's a packet that goes back and forth and it sends and receives to make sure things are working correctly. With 5G, instead of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, essentially what happens is it sends a it's bunch of data. more data. 
And with just one, one head packet, yeah. and then it's going to then just have one return packet, so you can send up the speeds much more in an increasing rate okay. at the ability. So, so how is this going to affect me? Other than I have to buy another freaking phone. Well, you don't have to <laughs> because 5G was supposed to be rolled out already, but with COVID-19, guess what? It's a little bit delayed. But you see the ads that you yeah, tell the ad. it was supposed to be out in 2018, right? Yeah, 2018 is when they said that it was originally going to be out. 2019 says it's going to be out. Now you've seen all these ads. Essentially, these ads for these companies had to have been in, like, in the works like two years ago that they were running these because oh, yeah. they're not quite out there, and the 5G map is not necessarily out there either. And you can go and take a look at tmobile.com's 5G map, and you're going to find it that it's only available on the interstate highways. <laughs> You're going to go and take a look That's at right. AT&T. I-5. So, yeah. So, there, so it's essentially right now on the main industrial because of the way they put the antennas up. So we're going to talk about antennas. So 5G has different antennas, much smaller antennas. They put them up on these fake palm trees and these fake different- uh, Are they going to uh, make them look like fake trees? So they do. They have yeah. So they have a whole new study where they have to make it look like a real tree. But what it does is it takes the broadcast and instead of you having to trench cable- underneath your buildings to get high-speed internet, it essentially goes from tower to tower and broadcasts that information, what they call that, that last mile leg. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to run cabling into a business or into uh, your mobile phones. You'll be able to get it directly from the towers themselves. So we're going to be microwaving birds now. Um, <laughs> only crows. <laughs> only crows. Only Lannister crows from uh, only, Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, so... Now, there has been uh, already $34. billion put into 5G networks across the industries, and they're expecting this business, which is currently right now at $2.9 billion, to be anywhere between $50 to $60 billion in 2025. Mm -hmm. So it is going to be a huge mark. By then, we'll be on G8. Uh, no, because I think, I think 5G is going to be around for a while. I think 5G is- 4G it, wasn't around very long. And neither was 3G. So That's if right. you really, it was really, it was kind of like the beginning, 1G, and then it was 2G, and 2G was like all of a sudden I could pull up my web page on my phone. Yeah. 1G, I could just barely do I, stuff. Oh, I know. I remember. And then 2G, it was like, wow, I can get a website up here. And now with 4G, you guys are almost streaming like sports and streaming mm. TV and- Quibi, if it was still available <laughs> until Quibi. December. Why did you go, Quibi? <laughs> but you're going to be able to, um, that's right, but you're going to be able to do uh, 5G, the ability to actually have this. But let's talk about some of the carriers. I'm sure you don't want me to continue to go into SD-WAN technology. It probably Keep isn't. nerding out, man. So, <laughs> so we're going to include that on I'm, the- I'm sure uh, it's helping somebody. On the TTR <laughs> offline. Um, you probably don't want to know SD-WAN. All right, so let's talk about non-covered- Non-standard gear. So the home and cell site gear that's used by Verizon 5G. We're going to talk about Verizon. We're going to talk about T-Mobile and Sprint combined and, and just what should be used. So 5G rollout was temporarily put on uh, ho on hold. On what? On host. <laughs> <laughs> they were host now. On hold because of uh, COVID-19. And Verizon is foregoing the standards to be the first uh, availability in market and 5G internet services for Verizon are currently available right now. Does, because of 5G, <laughs> what are you going to ask me? I was, I was going to say, does the 4G network spread the COVID virus better than the 5G network? Is that why so, it was on hold? So no, none of the networks. Darn it. <laughs> I don't understand this all right. at all. Are you, are you doing like a Trump campaign over here or something like that? Is that what you're trying to do? Fake news? Okay. Uh, so, so all of this again, you can go and take care of. <laughs> And make sure that all of this is valid and information. You can geek out on all this technology, um, again, at techtimeradio.com and find out about 5G. But, but essentially, here's what we got. Again. So we have Verizon 5G that is not using the standard uh, processes. And you have AT&T that's using a standard boilerplate. And then you have T-Mobile and Sprint, which is combined, which is doing their own thing also. So let's talk about AT&T. AT&T, if you want 5G, they're going to probably be the slowest uh, company to release. Yeah. They're going to have the... the because they're old. Well, they're <laughs> going to be probably the standard that is not great and is not uh, necessarily overall coverage-wise. it's going to be the cheap one. So, no, at and is probably the middle ground. Oh, okay. So now Verizon is spending a lot of time on non-standard gear to make their speed like 
the fastest. That's good to know. They're not going to be in the most areas that are available, but they're going to have limited coverage of where they're at. But where they're at, they're going to enable the. If you're in the 5G network, you're probably going to get eight to ten of those megabits per second available to you anywhere you're at. And now, if they can fit that, if they can fix that air hole in where I'm sitting in my chair and I can't drop. I keep dropping calls. That would be great. So then we're going to talk about T-Mobile. So T-Mobile 5G decided to do something a little bit different. So now with their merger with Sprint is they are going to probably be the slower of the speeds, but they're using a completely different spectrum. So they since so each each carrier server has a spectrum, which is wireless waves that they broadcast out. Mm-hmm. T-Mobile now has Sprint's and T-Mobile's existing mm-hmm. ones. So they have a much larger range to go. And so their idea is to instead of being the fastest units that are available out there, they they're going to the best coverage. They're going to have the best coverage by far. They will probably have their their by the end of 2021, they're expecting to have all of the United States covered on 5G. Oh. Wow. So, it's kind of if you want 5G to work everywhere, you kind of get to go with your T-Mobile phone so for now the, I have select selective uh s- Selective areas. You've got Verizon. So it's, it's, it's really funny because T-Mobile used to be the select area phone coverage with 4G and 3G, mm-hmm. where if you're in a major metropolitan, it, your T-Mobile phone worked. You try to go over the, the mountains over here in the Pacific Northwest, you just dropped off everywhere and you can never get any service until you're back into a major city. T-Mobile is taking a completely different stance now and they're going completely where we want all of the United States, wherever you're at. And we're not going to give there you the go. fastest speed. So now, now I have now I have three different ways to choose my five G network, and three different conspiracy theories to go with it. So you do. So you got AT and T, which would be the standard. So if you just want to play middle of the ground and you don't want to take any risks, you go with that. If you want to have the fastest speed, you do Verizon. And if you want to be covered throughout the United States, you have T Mobile and uh, Sprint as their cool. selection. So that takes us through what is five G. Now that wasn't that bad, was it? I, I still don't know what 5G is, man. So 5G is just <laughs> oh. a technology name for faster speed I'm data. Kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm so, kidding. so you have, currently you have one megabit per second, and it can go up to 10x, which is 10 megabits per second. So you could stream on the edge computing all of the shows you need to have taken care of. Now you know what? I'm going to send you like 16 emails during the week, so you can listen to my. Next fifteen to twenty minutes, where I actually go into full details about five G, and so I, that I can't I can wait. Make sure. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna quiz you next week on that. You all can right, quiz me all you want. I might not answer. <laughs> you might not answer. All right. Well, we're gonna take a commercial break right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for understanding what's five G. And when we come on back, we still have uh, what I found on the web, and we got Mike's mesmerizing moment. I can't wait for that. And maybe we'll talk about five G. We'll talk about five G. All right, we'll take a break. We'll see you guys after that. Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO-level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get an efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. T-Mobile and Sprint have merged. Now that Sprint is a part of T-Mobile, we have more towers, more engineers, and more coverage than ever before. This is not just a bigger network, it's a better one. And now you can get an awesome network at an amazing price. Welcome to T-Mobile, America's largest 5G network. All right, welcome back to Tech Time Radio. I'm your host, Nathan Mum. <laughs> Mike, how was that break? Uh, that was just way nerdy, man. That was way nerdy? I think I think you overdid on the nerd. Uh, uh, uh-oh, because guess what happens? Our next segment, what I found on the web, we're going to be talking about a cool new technology from MIT. So this is may it, end up being just be the nerd. nerd? Yeah, it is a little bit more nerd. Okay, let's, let's, let's hear it. Does it right. have anything to do with aliens or 5G networks? Or no, uh, no 5G networks and no aliens, but here we go. We're going to okay. start our segment now, what I found on the web. What I found on the web. All right, I'm a sucker for keeping items cool. So I have spent way too much money on Kickstarter. Did you see in in my old office, I had a, a... 
device that you could put your cup yeah. on and keep stuff cool. So we're going to be talking today about a technology that enables you to keep items cool. And it's not a Kickstarter item. It's actually an item from MIT. So MIT has created a material that keeps items cold without power. The material can be kept for items up to five times longer than similar materials. Okay, no yeah. electricity. I don't have to throw in a frozen gel pack. You don't have to throw in, a, you know, when you buy like cheeses or meats or someplace like that, you have that insulated bag and they put in that cold, nice little uh, water mm-hmm. and, and items to keep items cold. You do not have to do that anymore. So we're going to talk about the combination of hydrogels and aerogels. Okay. <laughs> Look at you like your 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 nerd like <laughs> no, just went no, off. no 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 no. So your next fancy cooler might be more reminiscent of a camel. That's the cool part. Than a hunk of plastic. Researchers at MIT have developed a new two-layered material capable of keeping items cold for longer periods of time. It's actually up to five times longer. And they actually did this where they had a what's well, really nice MIT kids a beer can, right? And they, hey, and there's so, nothing better than a beer koozie that's going to keep everything cold. <laughs> so that's right. You know, all great things come from pizza and beer. That's, that's what, right. I've seen shirts that said that. So with no electricity or ice packs required, the ability uh, is inspired by camel fur and the ability to retain moisture and keep cool items even in the hottest of heats in the desert. The idea has paid off as the initiative... A material has been shown to test to prove that the cooling system is more than seven degrees Celsius or five times longer than similar materials. In some situations, that means the material can keep content cool for up to eight days in a secured area. So if you have a secured bag, you put this in there and you're going to be able to keep it cool for up to eight days. That's good. Initial research of the material was published this week in the scientific journal called Jazubut La. And graduate students Elisa Sturbach and Zan Chain, our research students from MIT, developed the material. So here's what it is. The new material, uh, which hasn't been named yet, so maybe they'll call it Mike Corday. Maybe you can call them up and ask them to name it after you. Yeah, I, okay. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's actually a combination of two materials. So it has the hydrogel, which is a jello-like substance mm-hmm. that's been around for more than 50 years. Uh, used for everything from glues to drug delivery systems to breast implants. So it's the same type of material. Uh, Researchers took the hydrogel cooling potential to an entirely new level by covering the upper level of it with the aerogel. And the aerogel is essentially materials that are used in jackets and outside accessories that have the cooling system. So it's kind of like that Wix cooling mm-hmm. system where you can your clothes can get wet, but they get dry immediately. So you know it's they're like two layers. Say, you know they're just going to call it something like... Camel something. Camel. Uh, Camel gel. Well, they, they, there we they, go. They, 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 you know what? If it works, it'll Camel works. shots. So when Jell- you- when Jell-O you, camel shots. Yeah, in the cat. Wow. So both layers combined are just shy of a half an inch thick. So that's not bad at all. So you're, you're no. talking a, a pretty small area that you have mm-hmm. and you can absolutely wrap it around. The, jam, the game changer here is that the materials are endless and the researchers have already been producing these materials for the last 50 years. So this is like- no new production needs to be taken care of. Nothing needs to be done. They just need to be able to combine the two items together. The t- material might come in very handy. Specifically, it was developed and talked about for formulation of the COVID-19 vaccination process to get medicine out to people without having to have additional cooling. So it was a part of their project at MIT yeah. to come up with a cooling system. And so this product was produced. That's perfect. They'd probably but, be using it for heart transplants and organ transplants and things like that. So the new material is capable of keeping packages and contents at temperatures constant. So it doesn't cool it, it to a lower deal. It keeps it at the constant temperature that it was put in at. So if the bag is 42 degrees, it's not going to lower it to 38 degrees for the cooling, but it'll keep it at that 42 degrees for up to eight days. So it keeps it at that constant rate. Both aerogels and hydrogels are inexpensive to make, so it shouldn't be too difficult to compromise the ability of having your COVID-19 areas taken care of with this product. So that's really cool. Speaking of beverages, though, you know what? What? (laughs) Uh, We're going to need to take a commercial break because when we come on back, we got our final segment and we have Mike's mesmerizing moment. Okay. All right. Okay. So we'll see you guys right after the break here and we'll check you out later. 
Skip and Sharon, hosts of the Psychic Spectrum Radio Show, are a prominent psychic couple. Besides hosting an exciting weekly radio show, they offer fans the Psychic Showcase and a fascinating Speakers Bureau. And their talking to the other side events are not to be missed. Join their live events and even schedule a private psychic reading. Get started at PsychicSpectrum.com. That's PsychicSpectrum.com. Your business deserves the same expertise as that of a Fortune 500 company. If you need a CIO-level service, why hire a full-time staff member at $250,000 a year when you can get this on-demand service for fractions of the cost? As your CIO on demand, we'll give you the steps you need to take so as to minimize interruption to your business and profitability and provide you and your business with training and education to prevent future attacks. To get an efficiency review for your business today, contact us at www.ee-services.com. Ace Hardware is a helpful place with prompt, friendly service, knowledge, and the little things that make a big difference. Service. Selection. Advice. Community involvement. Competitive prices. Convenience. Located near you. And the things you need, such as... House keys. Lawn and garden. Plumbing. Electrical. Hardware. Grills. Outdoor living supplies. And even nuts and bolts. When you visit Ace Hardware, you'll be greeted at the door and given the help you need. So come visit us at Ace Hardware in Evergreen Way in Everett, Lake Stevens, and now Stanley. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. All right, Mike. Welcome back to the break. How was your whiskey during the break? I loved it. You loved it? Okay. Yeah. Well, you can see yours is a little bit shorter than mine is. I, so. I, I did take a pretty good... It's, it's a little bit of a swig there? Yeah. All right. Well, welcome back to the break. We will be getting to our whiskey review here before the end of the day. But before that, we are excited because we did not have this on last week's episode we have the episode or the segment <laughs> I look forward to the most. Mike's 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 rising moment. This is Mike's mesmerizing moment. All right, <laughs> you're up. I feel bud. like I need to have a sword. <laughs> you, you do. We'll have to get you a sword, a little wizard hat. All What's right, my mesmerizing moment. Yes. Um, I think I'm going to go back to the Facebook thing and talk about. You know, it's it's interesting how some of these systems evolve where, you know, they're they're now taking the ability they're taking that swipe feature away or that vanish feature on yep. your text messaging. And I am all i I'm often looking at what would motivate somebody to do that, you know, and I'm sure Facebook is gonna be saying, Well, this is about privacy, but I'm I'm Sure. Also, there's a, there's a, you know, they're getting hauled in front of Congress all the time for for all this stuff. So they're trying to they're trying to. But they're still keeping this. it though, right? So really, they're, Facebook they're is still liable data, for but that. Yeah, but they're they're making they're making it a lot easier for cyber bullies to cover their tracks, and they're making it more because who's they're gonna they're making it easier for people who are cheating on their spouses to cover their tracks. So that's what, all I think of the vanishing apps are people that are either doing illegal stuff or people that don't want to be caught because they know that if they were caught that they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. Yeah. Is, if, is that but, the, does anybody else use the vanishing apps for any other reason? No. Why, why do you need, why are you using a vanishing app unless you're hiding something? I mean, we could, we could say, Hey, well, it's not taking up space on my hard drive, but is it really taking up that much space or is it taking up? But again, it comes back to privacy issues and, and I get that, but it's not really private if Facebook is going to be containing all that information. And you know they're containing that information for the same reason why. For legal action for, in, yeah, case, in case something somebody, happens. Yeah, and, and when something happens, they need to prove it. They you threaten to, somebody in there with a knife or something really yeah, uh, so vulgar why, and all of a sudden then why you have vanish it? it? You know, I, I'm, often, I'm often curious about why. It's so that girlfriend can't grab your phone and look at Facebook to the messages that you're having with the uh, yeah, other che- person. Yeah, if you're cheating on your girlfriend, all it does is all it does is give you a a backstory. It gives you a, look. I'm not doing anything. I don't have. I don't well, know. Who, I don't know who that is. That's uh, my best friend. We just met for coffee. Yeah, just, whatever. <laughs> so I just saw a video this weekend that was pretty funny. It was a, a guy that put a ring camera 
and he suspected his girlfriend of cheating on him type of deal. And so the ring camera's going off and his like best buddy's over there and she's cheating oh, on him. Oh no. She's cheating on him all over everywhere. And it's just like, yeah, with technology today, you gotta be you should be on your P's and Q's way more than you would have ever been before. Back in yeah, the eighties and nineties when we used to do stuff. The I mean, fact is is that human behavior doesn't change. Okay. That's that's the real issue here is that human behavior doesn't change. It doesn't matter. We try to solve so many problems. With we we solve we try to solve human problems with technology and it and it just makes things worse. All right, a lot of the times, not every time, but a lot of the times. Well, that that is our Mike's mesmerizing moment. Yeah, should we talk about the? I think uh, David, how many more minutes do we have left on the show? We got four minutes, four so minutes. we're going to go quickly then. Yeah, so ta- we, talk about the thing. That all right, so here we go. About. Our our in our protect yourself today. The story affiliate number, program. The story number two that we don't have. <laughs> Darkside <laughs> ransomware gang launches affiliate program using affiliates enabled ca- crowdsourcing profits, but leaves the operators more exposed. So here's what you have. So you have the ability with this uh, dark side ransomware gang to actually go in to hire them to do all of the ransomware work. So Mm -hmm. all you have to do is exploit a major corporation, and they're only looking for corporations that are a minimum of uh, 400,000 or more. So they don't want to do anything that's lower. So if you're an affiliate and you're trying to bring them somebody that's under four hundred thousand uh, dollars. They're they're not interested. So can I sign up to be? Is that is that me signing up to be a patsy for for the group? So what you do is you are as the affiliate program. You can receive anywhere between thirty percent of the ransomware payment and forty percent after the successful ransom payment has been taken care of. How, what's the percentage of the legal problems that I get? For so that? all you have to do though is all you got to do is provide them with the leak and stolen data of somebody's username and password, and they will do the rest of the work for you. So you don't have to create your own virus. You don't have to do any of the infrastructure. All you have to have is the user's names and password of a company of that is $400,000 or more annual yearly salary. And mm-hmm. if you send it to them on their web forum- They'll give you a percentage. They will give you, yeah, you get anywhere between 30% for the ransomware. And then when the feds come knocking on my door- well, so here's the, so so this they're not new. There's there's groups Darkside, Lockbit, Avalon, Netwalker, Revel or or R Evil, which we've already talked about previously before. Revel. Um already have affiliate programs, so Darkside is just getting in on it. So they're a little oh, late to the market uh, here. Okay, they're they're just behind the curve. So, so yes, yeah, so you are able to go on a dark website and actually provide the credentials and information and they will then pay you through a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency any of the ransomware payouts. Now there are some problems about this though because <laughs> dark side <laughs> really yeah, there dark, problems well so dark side <laughs> hasn't been as good as an affiliate program as other ones that are available. Uh-huh. And they don't know if the exact payments are actually coming to be that thirty to forty percent. So you may end up only getting so, anywhere so between the, ten to twenty percent. So, so the shift the shifty hackers are shorting you your money for being an affiliate for being the front man for That's, your that's it, but you don't activities. have to do coding, and you don't have to do any of the work. All you have to oh, do sure. is provide them a username yeah. that has admin credentials and a password, and then you can sit on back, and they can hack away for you. Right, but my, you know, my point is, is that when the feds come knocking, who are they knocking? Who's, well, they're going to be knocking on your knocking? door. Yes. They're going to be knocking on your door. All and that, so, all that is, all that really means to me is that uh, these companies are putting an extra layer of. Of items available. Of patsies in front of their stuff. Well, he's, but you know what? You can sign up as an affiliate program. Everybody's doing it, that's right? What, that's what I'm, I'm an affiliate on Amazon. Home. so I'm going to get drunk on uh, Crown Royal. And, uh, on your Crown Royal first. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the music. So that means yeah. we need to... Uh, this is a great show today. I had, <laughs> had a fun time. Yeah, it was pretty good. You know what? You, you, you do better when you read the stuff and then don't bring in your notes. I'm just, just not going to bring in notes anymore. It's just, just kind of ad-lib what's going on. So we yeah. learned about 5G today. No, we didn't. Oh, yes, we did. We learned about the different carriers and what oh, you can okay, choose. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, we had um, some cryptocurrency information regarding our Protect Yourself Today, our top stories, and, of course, Mike's mesmerizing moment. I know, and that was probably pretty mesmerizing. It was. And now we have our Crown Royal Northern Rye Harvest. Are you giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I'm going to give it a thumbs down. A thumbs down. Yeah, it just, it just it had a very weak aroma. The bite and and it's got a plastic screw top. That's why you know what. As soon as it has the plastic, we were in trouble. And I'm also going to give it a thumbs down. This is Tech Time Radio for episode 22. We appreciate you joining us. Right, you're going to talk we'll about see you that next only week. two more times, three more times. Thank you for joining us for Tech Time Radio today. 
I'm your host, Nathan Mum. Hopefully you enjoyed talking technology and, of course, having a little whiskey on the side. Remember as we leave, mum's the word. Thank you for listening. If you like the show and want to learn more, please check us out at techtimeradio.com or on YouTube or your favorite podcast service. Just look for Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum.